Don't be attracted to easy paths because the paths that make your feet bleed are the only way to get ahead in life. Politics is when you say you are going to do one thing while intending to do another. Then you do neither what you said nor what you intended. I call on you not to hate because hate does not leave space for a person to be fair and it makes you blind and closes all doors of thinking. Women make up one half of society. Our society will remain backward and in chains unless its women are liberated, enlightened and educated. Nothing worse than curds in your milk. General, make sure I never see another curd again. Don't make decisions in anger or humiliate an enemy after defeating him. Whoever tries to climb over our fence, we will try to climb over his house. You Americans, you treat the third world in the way an Iraqi peasant treats his new bride. Three days of honeymoon, and then it's off to the fields. The United States must get a taste of its own poison. Those who fight in God's cause will be victorious. Strike them and strike evil so that evil will be defeated. The most important thing about marriage is that the man must not let the woman feel downtrodden simply because she is a woman and he is a man. Allah is on our side. That is why we will beat the aggressor. Palestine is Arab and must be liberated from the river to the sea and all the Zionists who emigrated to the land of Palestine must leave. We do not have weapons of mass destruction. The West needs someone to tell the man who walks around with the biggest stick in the world that that stick can bring down gods. How so? By God! We will make the fire eat up half of Israel if it tries to do anything against Iraq. We are ready to sacrifice our souls, our children and our families so as not to give up Iraq. We say this so no one will think that America is capable of breaking the will of the Iraqis with its weapons.